Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. I know you're gonna say that you're fine, but you're not really fine because you don't know how to install the NFS Carbon KTMX 2021 ray tracing graphics mod. And that's why I came up with a tutorial for you guys. So in this video, you're going to learn how to download, I mean, how to install Carbon's new KTMX Hansa on your game that I'm working on right now, which you can access if you are an early access user on Patreon. So, to get started, you'll get a file like this, a zip file, double click on this and you'll find uh, lots of folder. Now of course, to use a graphics mod, first thing is you need to have the game itself. So. Let's go to our game directory, let's right click, copy, go back to our game folder, right click and paste. And it does take a bit. Now I already have all the files because I set up my game so I'm not going to replace the files right now, I'm not going to bother wasting time. So once you do that, you're almost all set. But before I start, I'm going to show you something, and that is different people use different kind of monitors and your resolution may vary. So to change our resolution, you can go to our script folder, go to widescreenfix.ini, and in main, you'll see the resolution. Since it's an old game, you need to uh, set up from here to have it in higher resolution. For example, if you have 4K, 3840 by 2160 if I want to use 1080 then you're just gonna have to use 1080 resolution now you're done with resolution settings now what well you uh, we haven't done the most critical part of the tutorial and that is to get ray tracing well to get ray tracing you need RTGI shader from Pascal Bleacher and I'm just gonna give you that link uh, to get Pascal Glitcher's RTGI shader in my Patreon. So you just have to download his shader, go to script folder and paste here. You're just gonna get enough instructions in this page to know how to install it. And once you install that, we're going to open our game. Now, we, we still have something to do. And that's why we need to start the game and set up our reshade. So it'll take us some time, it'll load up our RT shaders. Of course it's kind of a cutting edge graphical shader, so it does take us some time. <laughs> right. It's kind of hard to believe how high end an old game can become if you mod it enough. Now click on enter on continue let's click on home and here you have all these all these shaders and I and I but this may not show up in your PC and the reason for that is because when you have your PC it looks something like this and you have no shader path. So what do you have to do? Well, you're going to you're going to click on the plus button near near uh, effect search path. You're going to go to the folder exactly where your game is located, and then go to the script folder, just like we did last time. Um, but this time we're going to click on a shader. Oh, since this is effect search path, we're going to click on our game and then can select. Next is this. We're going to click on plus. We're going to select shader and click on select. And the other one is for textures. So you can click on plus and select the texture folder te for textures. And actually, there it is. We're done with the settings. We're done enabling our RT. After you do that, you're just going to have to click on reload. When you reload, your shaders are going to load up. And next thing you're going to do is deal with 
um, a direct nine uh, problem that you have in this game so sometimes you have some graphical problems and those are caused for some DirectX problems and to solve that we need DX D3D9 menu and the reason for that is that when you use so many effects on your NFSC uh, ray tracing mod it conflicts with the already existing effects in this game such as uh, anti-aliasing AO bloom and a lot of effects and so to actually get all these effects work together without fighting, without creating conflict, so that you, you know you're just gonna fight over one effect, fight over the another, another, and as a result, one effect is visible on another, and then it looks weird, it looks ugly. It happens especially when you use high setting in your video game. So to fix this, click on Home, just like before. This time we're going to D3D9. And here we have a few settings. Let me just show you. For example, you can click this and this. These are just little settings, but we don't need that. We're going to go down here. Let's click on that. No. Let's click on that. No. Let's click on that. Yes, because now all the effects are blending together, meaning the game effects and the reshade mod effects are both working together. And they're now friends. They're not fighting. And as a result, the graphics is ultimate. So <laughs> I hope you understand how this works. So this is how the graphics mod is set. You can enjoy the game, you can play it. I hope you liked the tutorial and if you did, give a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.